have you heard about a deadly cat coronavirus. I'll give you the headline. It's in the Times today. It's in pretty much all the other papers as well. Danger of deadly cat coronavirus spreading to UK. An outbreak of feline coronavirus that has killed thousands of cats in Cyprus could spread to Britain. It is feared. Veterinary surgeons on the island have reported an alarming increase in cases of feline infectious peritonitis. It's called FIP, a strain of coronavirus that does not spread to humans. So three 300,000 cats have died apparently as a result. Let's talk about this with Dr. Bharat Pankania, Senior Clinical Lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School. Hello, Doctor. Thanks for joining me. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So the first question for you really is this. Is there a question of this cat coronavirus spreading to the United Kingdom? Uh, infectious diseases do spread and they do not uh, confine themselves to their borders. Having said that, Cyprus is an island and Cyprus could introduce quarantine control measures uh, prohibiting the movement of animals uh, and cats particularly out of their country to other places. And that would be a control measure. Having said that, these coronaviruses uh, amongst cats and other mammals are not so unusual. They are common. So, so when you say Cyprus could implement some kind of uh, quarantine system, meaning that cats cannot be taken out of Cyprus and cannot stow away on ships and cannot do any of the things that cats are wont to do. But has Cyprus done so? Has that happened? I wouldn't know. Um, I, 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 I mean, would I think not. The newspaper is certainly not reporting that it has. No, I wouldn't. But then there are other measures that other countries can also take. So, for example, if a animal is coming from an area where there has been an outbreak of anything, then you could install uh, restrictions immediately and have control measures at your end. And this is the sort of thing we used to do with rabies control. Mm. Explain what rabies was and rabies control, because I reckon there'll be some people watching and listening who are too young to have really feared rabies in the way that all of us of a certain generation did. We were brought up to be terrified of rabies, and quite rightly so, weren't we? Well, absolutely, and we should still be very cautious about rabies because rabies can cause... Um, well, it is a serious infection and, and, and can lead to that. So it is a virus. It is transmitted by certain animals and it is also found in bats so for our listeners viewers in the united kingdom my advice would be never ever ever handle any bats that's my best advice possible with regard to our quarantine measures and control measures for rabies we introduced and i remember working with math as it was then called ministry for agriculture fisheries and food and we created uh the um vaccine passport, the pet passport. Yeah, I remember those days you too. Know, yeah. and given, given control measures before they're allowed to be brought back into the country. Uh, but what you what you haven't said is what we feared most, of course, were dogs. I mean, I know you say bats, but we used to be fearful, didn't we, of rabid dogs? And people used to say that dogs with rabies, was it that they couldn't drink, so they were unbelievably thirsty and you could tell the look of a rabid dog? And, you know, if you're travelling abroad, look out, look out wherever you are for, the, for, for dogs with rabies. If I'm giving misinformation, you correct me, because I don't know, I'm not a rabies expert. So, but wasn't that so what we were looking for? So rabies is often referred to as hydrophobia, fear yeah, of fear of water. water. Mm. Uh, but to be honest, you do not need a animal to express all those signs and symptoms for you to say this is a rabid dog. The best way, the best way to uh, look after yourself is if you are going to certain parts of the world, have your rabies vaccination. Mm. And the second bit is don't handle animals abroad because you just don't know. They may not exhibit all those signs and symptoms that we've been told to look out for. Just don't handle them because you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. and, and question, if heaven forfend someone were to catch or contract rabies, what does it do to you? Well, rabies is very serious and ideally we have preventative measures and you know if it, if we can catch it early enough uh we have to inject immunoglobulins at the site of the injection uh, the bite and we can give a rapid course of vaccines and we do this routinely in the uk because we often have encounters with bitten by a monkey bitten by a dog on holiday uh, i was handling a bat etc we have controls and procedures in place for handling potential exposure to the rabies 
virus. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the rabies virus can lie around, it, it travels up your nervous system, or up your nerves. And by the time it has set up an infection, I'm so sorry to say it's too late. But we try everything possible before an infection actually takes hold and, and, and makes a person hydrophobic as it's otherwise known as. God, ghastly. All right, let's go back to this cat coronavirus, doctor, and see whether we ought to be nervous, see whether if we're heading for Cyprus or Greece or anywhere nearby Turkey on our holidays, we should be sort of on, on some kind of alert. And, and also to talk to you about what might happen if the worst happens and it ends up over here. So first thing first, this uh, feline infectious peritonitis caused by a coronavirus, it's a cat only infection. So it is not something that we need to be worried about that will, will it be transmitted from the cat to the humans. Of course, viruses mutate and sometimes they mutate and then become infectious to humans. This is not the case at this point in time. So, you know, rest assured, this is a problem for cats. Right, right, okay. And, and when you say sometimes viruses mutate, I mean, we're all uncomfortably aware of that, aren't we? Ever since coronavirus and COVID, ever since we were hearing about variants in a way that was not in a science fiction film but in real life and we were terrified we might catch them so we're aware of this mutating um uh gene we we, we get it in a way that we never did before uh, 2020 and 2021 um so so is there a possibility that what is now exclusively cat coronavirus could mutate and could end up um spreading into the human population highly unlikely but the answer is not zero because this is, you ask a great question, because this is the origin of coronaviruses. So for example, uh, not far away, and it's still in existence in the Middle East, we've got MERS, mm -hmm. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Yes. It, is, it, it is an infection that can be transmitted from camelids to humans. So there is a little bit of variation, a little bit of mutation, and it becomes infectious in humans. So similarly with cats, highly unlikely, it hasn't happened in the past, but anything is possible. But I would say highly unlikely. We haven't encountered FIP uh, mutating to become infectious to humans. But that is not to say it's impossible. All right, let's imagine the worst case scenario, not that it becomes transmissible to humans, but that it does arrive on these shores and we suddenly find that there are outbreaks of cat coronavirus. We hear it's already killed 300,000 cats. Um, will you and those uh, you know of, of your ilk and those who, who you know exist to protect everybody from these things immediately implement measures to stop its spreading uh, in the way that we do with with you know uh, foot and mouth and and all the different um diseases or what would happen if it were to arrive here so 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 the lead agency would be defra in this instance because it is a uh, animal infection and defra would be uh, controlling measures putting in uh, import controls and then if it was in our uk population circulating we have ways in other words keep your cat away mm. from other cats and at the moment there isn't a fip uh, vaccine but we have control measures we know what to do if we have to do it at the moment it isn't in the uk thank you very much indeed doctor good to have you on the program